Have you noticed how many Tranquil are in the Gallows Courtyard lately? And don't tell me I'm just sensitive to it. I've been watching, and every day there are new Tranquil, selling their bloody wares. Good mages, too. People I know pass their harrowing. Doesn't Chantry Law say that mages who pass their harrowing can't be made Tranquil? Exactly. The Templars are using the right of tranquility to silence those who speak against them. They're working on a deliberate plan to turn every mage in Kirkwall within the next three years. Whatever you think of Templars, you can't imagine they're so heartless. They're worse. There are groups in Kirkwall who help those fleeing the Circle. I've talked to people on the inside. The plan is the work of a Templar named Sir Ulrich. I've had a run-in with him myself. He's the one who did the ritual on Karl. Nasty piece of work. Likes to make mages beg. Then perhaps the blame can be laid on him, and not every Templar. That's what I hope. If we bring the evidence of this plan to light, there must be men who'll stand against it. Perhaps even the Grand Cleric will finally be forced to act. I've been working with a group. A secret mage underground that helps others escape the gallows. They have a way in. A secret entrance under the walls of the gallows. Come with me tonight, please. Help me find the evidence of Sir Ulrich's tranquil solution. I wouldn't let you face this alone. You are the one bright light in Kirkwall. I've always feared being made tranquil. Now, more than ever, I'm ready to go when you are. Our entrance is concealed not far from here. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Let's go. If we find evidence of Sir Auric's plan, I'm taking it straight to the Grand Cleric. She will not be able to claim neutrality then. Ah! <laughs> 
Lyrium smugglers. Please, I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't toe the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. Get your hands off her! You fiends will never touch a mage again!
They will die! I will have every last Templar for these abuses! It's over, Anders. They're all dead. Every one of them will feel Justice's burn! Get away from me, demon! I am no demon! Are you one of them, that you would call me such? You're out of control, Anders. I will have my vengeance! No! Please, Monsieur! No. Oh, Maker, please. Forgive me. I've been neglecting my patients lately. Trash. Trash. Keep. Trash. Trash. Won't be needing that anymore. You're upset. We need to talk about it. Upset doesn't begin to cover it. I murdered a girl. A mage. The very person I've dedicated my life to saving. It's all gone wrong. Justice and I, we're just a monster, same as any abomination. You were out of control. You didn't know who the girl was. It was an accident. Exactly. One that happened because I am dangerous, unstable. Everything the Templars say. How can I fight for the freedom of mages? when I am the example of the worst that freedom brings. Mages are dangerous. That's why this has been so hard. Make yourself the proof that they can control their powers. I don't know how. How can I even trust myself to heal anymore? What if that creature of vengeance turns on a patient? Will he... will I resist? Or will I lose his fury? Maybe the Chantry can mediate this. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you've said. 